Midjourney is the hottest image generator right now, blowing people's minds with incredible results. But there is a way to make it even better. Give it a red cape and trunks. Stick the S logo on it and rock the show. And ChatGPT will be that secret ingredient to give the extra kick. Right now, I'll show you how you can supercharge Midjourney with ChatGPT and turn your images from this to this. Let's begin. To really know how to combine Midjourney and ChatGPT into one amazing beast, we first need to understand how Midjourney works. Basically, you open Discord, type in a prompt, and the AI magic does everything for you. At least that's how most people see it. But on a deeper level, Midjourney is a very complex tool. It studied millions, if not billions, of images and image descriptions and guesses what your prompt could look like, borrowing pieces of its knowledge and combining pieces into a complete picture. As you can guess, prompts are of the essence here. As I like to say about AI, garbage in, garbage out. If your prompts are terrible, the results will resemble that. You can't just say the general idea and expect the results to be perfect. You need to know what to input to really unlock the power of mid-journey, but coming up with prompts yourself isn't all that easy. And that's where the ChatGPT comes in. Let's start with the basics, coming up with ideas. Finding the idea is not easy, and sometimes the muse simply refuses to show up. So instead of sitting mindlessly and staring into the screen, let's ask ChatGPT for help. Here is my idea. Imagine you are an illustrator for an online magazine, and you desperately need some photos to demonstrate the corporate structure as something convoluted and twisted. Should you do a graph or a chart, an image, would be better. I will ask ChatGPT to come up with 10 prompts for image generation that will demonstrate the corporate ladder and company structure as well as main positions in an interesting way. I will also ask it to start each prompt with imagine. Okay, the list is ready and upon checking it, I think the last idea seems the most appropriate. An image featuring a ladder suspended in mid-air with employees climbing it to reach their respective positions, symbolizing the aspirations, determination, and hard work required to advance in the corporate world. ChatGPT surely knows how to write, but will that look any good? I will just head to Discord and type in my prompt, just straight up copy and paste it. Wait a few seconds for processing and here are four variants. What do you think? I I think this came out pretty good. The images are detailed and both AIs did a good job. But something tells me that we should go further. But to do that, we first have to train ChatGPT to do what we want. That's why I prepared this prompt. It shows the sample prompt and how it should be treated, what details should be added and so on. But why should you do that? Well, ChatGPT doesn't really know what a mid-journey is, so it doesn't know how to properly design prompts. So we should show exactly what we need. Okay, I paste to the prompt, saw that ChatGPT has understood the task at hand, and now I must give it a prompt for us. Let's say a dog riding a motorcycle, to which ChatGPT has generated a really detailed version. I can see that ChatGPT likes being dramatic and emotional in a way, instead of strictly practical, but no one is perfect, you know? I will once again copy and paste the prompt into Discord and hit enter. And here is the result. The dog is really riding a motorcycle, the sun is shining and so on, and it also looks like an illustration for a book, which is a good stylistic choice. But is the result really better than the standard one? Let's input the baseline request, a dog riding a motorcycle, and as you would have guessed, the results are drastically different, very predictable. Honestly, I'm not sure which one I like the most. ChatGPT did a good job describing everything and filling the scene with details, but the default prompt is slightly more fitting to what I had in mind, despite being very banal and boring. We should go further. Let's change the approach. I will once again ask ChatGPT to play a role. Also, I will tell in more detail which things I wanted to come up with. The weather, the time of year, the camera angle, and so on. So on the first try, it gave me a long text, but that won't fly with my journey. We need something shorter. And that's better. I'll now just copy the idea and the attributes to my journey. And would you look at that? The images aren't photorealistic, but we didn't ask for that, did we? Just look how gorgeous that is. Full of details. I love 
all four variants. To come to this result by hand would have taken at least 15 minutes, but with the help from ChatGPT, we did it in two. And that's with teaching ChatGPT about what we need. From now on, we'll be only limited by the speed of mid-journey servers. Yet, I want to try one more thing. Teaching ChatGPT on a different type of prompt. If you figured out the structure and structural parameters of your prompts for mid-journey, you could teach ChatGPT to do the same prompts and come up with variations. That's why I will ask ChatGPT to analyze and reverse engineer the prompt and then come up with a similar one from a German doctor operates on a goldfish. If we don't ask ChatGPT to help us, the results are kind of bland and boring, the hands are weird, the glass ball isn't complete, and overall everything looks really sloppy. Not exciting at all. But if we just copy what ChatGPT comes up with, everything changes. The art style largely stays the same somehow, but the amount of details is far higher. The images are more informative, more complete, more well designed. All of this brings us to a very interesting point. ChatGPT can improve mid-journey, but you still have to know how to combine the two. Without proper explanation, ChatGPT can't really generate amazing prompts, but with some material to study, well, you saw the results. If you spend some time to figure out what you really need and explain that to ChatGPT, your mid-journey images will be 10 times better than they are now. I'm sure that both ChatGPT and mid-journey will develop and in some time maybe we'll see a plugin that that natively connects them, who knows? However, even now we can clearly see how in tune AIs can be and what results they can give. But sometimes you just can't wait for the tech to evolve and you need results right now. And I might have something for you. To help you up your game, we've put together a pack of prompts that you can use. This pack has tons of ready-made prompts that you can simply copy and paste. We believe this list will be a game changer for businesses, marketing specialists, or just anyone looking to level up their ChatGPT experience. And now we have a huge discount. 50% the original price. Which kind of brings me to the next point, earning money. Generating prompts for mid-journey is good, but what about actual money? Can you make any money this way? Yes, and here's how. First, you feed dozens of prompts to your chat GPT, you teach it to compose like you, after that it's done, you're almost good to go. Now you can reliably generate images. After that, you can go Fiverr and offer your services. You can generate icons this way, logos, or brand identics, anything you want. For people who don't know about AI or don't want to learn, you will be the savior. And for you, it will be an easy job. Get the task, type the prompt into ChatGPT, copy and paste it, wait, return the work, cash out. Also, if you train ChatGPT well enough, you can go and start selling prompts for mid-journey, for example, on prompt base. The prices there start from a couple of dollars for a dozen or so prompts. For you creating such prompt packages shouldn't be a problem either. It's like an infinite source of free money. ChatGPT Plus is 20 bucks a month and mid-journey is less than 10. That's almost a zero dollar entry side hustle. And all you have to do to really start making some real dough is spend a few minutes teaching ChatGPT and learning the inner aspects of mid-journey. And when you do that, you will be unstoppable. You will be the god of AI. And to do that even faster, check out the link in the description. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and see you in the next one.